Hello everyone. Welcome to Clean Coder YouTube channel. So today we are going to do something different. Uh, we are going to study uh, algorithm rates of growth. Uh, like why we are learning this? The reason is very very simple. Uh, because uh, in every problem which you solve, uh, you will be doing the time complexity analysis, right? So while doing time complexity analysis and while optimizing obviously you, sh you would be decreasing the time complexity so it makes sense to have a good intuition of which time complexities are better than which one because sometimes it could be really really confusing to differentiate uh, like which is the better time complexity among the other one for example if i tell you to differentiate whether uh, 2 raised to power log of n is better or uh, n is better then how will you differentiate obviously you need to know the graph of these two right only then you can say uh, which grows more strongly than the other so just for that sake i have made this video so that uh, uh, you 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 can have a good time in optimizing the algorithms and you know uh, like uh, which time complexity is better than the which one and which are the worse than the others so let's get started so uh, just to make this session a bit more uh, interesting uh, i have uh, written some mathematical equations so y equals to 0 is a function y equals to x is a function y equals to x square is a function x cube is a function e raised to power x is also a function so let's uh, try to draw the graphs of these three uh, lines or these three functions so if we try to draw them on the cartesian plane our graph would look something like this okay so y equals to zero line is nothing but the x-axis okay y equals to x is this blue line y equals to x square is this yellow line y equals to x cube is this red line and y equals to e raised to power x is nothing but this uh, white line okay so what you can notice you can notice that if i draw a vertical line on y axis okay so what would happen so it would intersect e raised to power x first then it would intersect x cube then it would intersect x square then it would intersect x and then it would intersect the u uh, actually uh, this is the order of their uh, relative uh, time complexities also like e raised to power x is worse than uh, x cube is worse than x square is worse than x is worse than zero right uh, time complexity of o of one is best and then the constant time complexity then quadratic time complexity then cubic time complexity then uh, exponential time complexity so these are the uh, broad functions sometimes uh, logarithmic and exponential could make things a bit tricky also so for just uh, completing that uh, i have uh, written their relatives in the next this slide okay so this is the best time complexity o of 1 best time complexity okay then comes o of log of log of n okay then comes o of square root of log of n okay then comes o of uh, log of square of n okay then comes 2 is to power log of n then comes o of n okay then comes o of log of n factorial okay then comes o of n log n okay then comes the quadratic then comes o of 2 raised to power n okay then comes 4 raised to power n and the worst one is the factorial okay this one is the worst time complexity so uh, ideally what you should try is uh, with the brute force let's say if you got an algorithm of n square time complexity you should try to move towards the left side okay you should try to move towards the left side either make it n log n or n 
or constant whatever you can make in every algorithm you should try to optimize it like this okay this is the order uh, i wanted to talk about so uh, in the next slide let me show you some uh, examples also of the of the commonly seen time complexity so constant time complexity uh, when wh where do you see this constant time complexity uh, you see this in uh, stack insertion when you are inserting an element to the stack it's generally constant so uh, when when do you see o of log n time complexity so in binary search algorithm uh, log of n time complexity is commonly seen uh, where do you see o of n time complexity uh, whenever you are traversing an array or linked list uh, you are having o of n time complexity okay where do you see uh, n log n time complexity so when you are sorting using merge sort you are having a big of n log n time complexity where do you see o of n square time complexity in bubble sort the time complexity is generally o of n squared where do you see o of n cube time complexity so in conventional matrix multiplication algorithm the time complexity is o of n cube where do you see uh, exponential time complexity so a very very famous problem is the tower of n i problem which i'll try to cover in one of the tutorials also so there the time complexity is uh, 2 raised to power n these are the common examples of commonly seen time complexities and their respective algorithm so this was all uh, i wanted to talk about in this uh, foundation video so if you like uh, this foundation series and if you like my mathematical explanations uh, please uh, subscribe this channel and please like this video uh, it gives a bit more support to me and motivates me to make similar videos so once again thanks for watching this video